Hello coders, this is your instructor. Just wanted to uh, give you a quick review of how to code from your HickPix manual. So I, j I want you to please uh, get your manuals and follow everything that I am going to show you so that you have uh, an example or an idea of how to use the different pages and sections of this book and try to do a scenario with me. And remember, this is also for your um, assignment to be um, to be done for your um, course that you're in. So let's start with the book. Um, I'm showing you the 2018 edition, but you can also use the same um, concept for your 2019 book. The first thing I want you to please pay attention is your table of contents. It's it's the easiest way to find things that you might not be able to find. If there is no other way of doing anything or finding a code, come back to your table of contents. Review the details. As you can see, the table of contents is full of information of what kind of codes you have in here, right? So if you pay attention, you will see that you have codes from, let me put another picture which is more clear. Here we go. This is the first column of your um. Uh, table of contents and you can see it gives you the index page number which is very important because that's what we need to find the code so that's page 57 and then you have your tabular list pages starting from 99 page number and as you go down you can see the codes are organized according to a b c d all your codes if you look closely hopefully it's clear um, if you look closely it begins with a 0021 to A0999 and so on and so forth along with the page numbers given to you. So if you're looking for a code number, let's say B4040, so you can easily come to this page and find the code number. But again, I'm going to show you another way of doing it according to the rules of coding. So, but this page that I just showed you is your table of contents. Remember that it's page number one and table of contents has all the information that you need in case if you forget what you're looking for. So let's move on to, um, you really don't need any of this information except your index and the tabular. That's the most important thing. And sometimes you might want to Take a peek at anatomical illustrations if you need to know what anatomy or what part of anatomy are we discussing. Okay, so we now come to the index page, and that is page 57. And remember, the index page is important. Why? Because we are trying to find uh, a main term. All right, a main term is the word that we use to find or help ourselves locate the code in any coding manual. So you can see the index starts with A, and some of the words you can see over here are abdominal pad, abduction, ablation, adapter, and so much more starting with A. But remember, Hickpix coding is basically all medical supplies, different things that you, you, it says that right over here, <laughs> services, supplies, equipment, and drugs. So those are your main term and that's what we will be doing as we you as we go along and use the different pages and different sections of HickPick. So I'm going to the next uh, slide. Now remember the index is always to find the main term given in the alphabetical order such as code range E1070 to E1090. That's the only thing we're going to find in are index and not more than that so main term will be let's say a wheelchair and then what kind of wheelchair will that be it's going to be the subterms and i think there should be main term and subterm um then we move on to our tabular list okay so so far so good we are in the index we find the main term and then we move on to the tabular now the tabular list is Give it on page 99. Make sure you're following your book along with me. And it starts with your A codes. Hopefully you can see it. See all these A codes. Page 99 is the first page of your tabular list. And it will start with A codes. And as I was showing you before, um, the first code starts with the transportation services, which are ambulance codes. Okay. Now the tabular list 
pages from A, as you can see the codes right here, you can see how the book is already tabbed for you. A, C, G. As you turn the pages over, you're going to be following A, B, C, D in the different color codes, depending upon what section you're in. Because remember, these all sections are divided according to what kind of codes are given to you, which is the green section, as you can see, is for transportation services. We have outpatient uh, PPS. Then we have procedures, professional services. So different pages have the tabs already posted for you, which helps a lot. How to find the code range in your tabular li list? Please make sure you look at the top of the page and you can already see the code ranges given to you. So as you turn the pages over to find the correct code, you will just look at the top of the page and keep the pages turning over and you will find the correct code range according to the alphabet uh, or alphanumeric character of the code which you can see is very easily located if you're using the top of the pages. Let's do example. Um, and this is, a, is an example similar to what you're doing in your assignment, so it will help you understand how to find the code. So the question says, fully reclining wheelchair, detachable arms, swing away detachable footrest, and you have choices given. Now, we're not going to pay attention to the choices, but I do rem remember how we spoke about finding the main term. What do you think is the main term here? What are we looking for? And remember, we are looking for a medical supply. So what medical supply are we looking for? Correct. Wheelchair, right? So let's go to our index. Find the alphabet that we're looking for, which is your uh, W. And then we're going to go down this list. And here we go. We found the wheelchair, right? Now remember, the, it's, this, is, this is the last of the columns, so we have to go to the next column. And you can see that it has subterms. So your main term was your wheelchair. Okay, it has different code ranges given. You can actually go and just use this and find the code. But since we have subterms and some further details given to you in the next column, we're going to utilize that. Remember our question was fully reclining wheelchair, detachable arms, swing away detachable footrest. So we will look downwards and find that information. And you can see that your subterm is fully reclining here, right? Given with further additional subterms of detachable arms, detachable footrest. And that takes us to E1070. So in this code, you, you just have one code given, not a code range. That's easy. Now I have to go to the tabular list to find the code. So let's move on to our tabular list. And remember, tabular list begins from page 99. So you should be there. And you should be starting to look on top of the pages, turning them over to find the right code range, which will help you locate E1070. So we continue to turn the pages over, keeping an eye on the top. <laughs> And we will find this page here, which is what page number now? Page 168. Um, and you can see this is E1011 E1083. So remember, our code range was E70. So it should be on this page. So as we go down, we will find that code on the right column at the bottom. So here we go. We now have. Um, the details of the code given in our tabular list. And this is where we confirm our code, right? So our code was E1070, and it says exactly the same thing. I've posted that up on the top as well. Fully declining wheelchair, detachable arms, swing away detachable footrest, okay? So this is how you do your coding in HICPIX, exactly how you do it in CPD. And exactly how you do it in your ICD-10. Remember, there are sometimes notes given below or above the code that you have to read in order to make sure what is being uh, use it as a guideline. It's guiding you to do maybe give you some more information that might we might not remember or we might need to know in order to be compliant with the with the insurance companies um, and we do not get a denial. Uh, uh, in a claim form, right? So we don't want any denials there. We don't want any um, lack of reimbursements. We don't want to 
have any complication with the insurance company. So we always want to make sure that we read the guidelines here if given. If not, then you're good to go and just code as it is. Hopefully this helps. Let me know if you have any more questions and uh, text me if you do have any questions. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.